When most of us hear the word shapes, we tend to think of things like squares, rectangles, triangles, and circles. Except for the circle, all of our other shapes can be described using one word, and that one word is polygon. In order to be a polygon, a shape has to have several defining characteristics. The first thing we need to check for is that our polygon has to be made of line segments. That means it has to have all straight edges. We can see our figure here on the left is made up of all line segments and has all straight edges, so it would be classified as a polygon. Our figure here on the right is made up of some straight edges, but it also has this curved part. Polygons can't have curved edges, which is the biggest reason why a circle is in a polygon. Not only do we need to have line segments to make up our edges, we also need to make sure we have enough line segments so that they can all join at their endpoints. This creates a closed figure. If we use just one line segment, we have exactly that, a line segment. Two line segments form an angle, because while they do join at their endpoint, these endpoints don't have anything to join with, and it creates a way in and out of that angle. Therefore, it's not a polygon. When we add a third line segment, that's when we create our smallest polygon in a triangle. All of the line segments can join at an endpoint, and it's a closed figure because there's no way in or out of it. Not only do we need to make sure our line segments join at their endpoints, we need to make sure that our line segments join at the endpoints only. We can see from our figure here on the left, this figure is a polygon because it's made up of line segments. They join at their endpoints, and it's a simple figure because they join at their endpoints only. Our figure here on the right, yes, it is made up of line segments. Yes, they do join at their endpoints, but it's not simple because it also has all these meeting points in the middle of the figure as well. This figure would not be classified as a polygon because it would be thought of as several figures put together. In order to be a polygon, we have to check for several things. First off, we need to have line segments only, no curved edges. Secondly, our line segments need to meet at the endpoints to create a closed figure, meaning no way in or out. And thirdly, our figure needs to be simple, meaning that our line segments meet at the endpoints only, no crisscrossing parts in the middle. Now that we know the characteristics of a polygon, we need to know that polygons can be classified into two main categories, regular polygons and irregular polygons. Let's look first at what it takes to be a regular polygon. If a polygon is considered to be regular, that means all sides are the same length and all angles are the same measure. We can see here on the square that we have four equal sides and we have four 90 degree angles. The same is also true on this octagon where all sides are the same length and all angles are the same measure. If a figure is an irregular polygon, then it's considered an irregular polygon. That means the sides either aren't the same length, the angles aren't the same measure, or both. On this rectangle, we can see it has all equal angles. They're still all worth 90 degrees. But its sides are of different lengths, so it would be considered an irregular polygon. This triangle, we can see, also has sides of different lengths, plus it has different measured angles, so it's also considered irregular. Most oddly shaped polygons are also gonna fall in the irregular category, either because of different side lengths, different angle measures, or both.